Welcome back to Scale Borderline. This is part 3 of the Discarnia Millennium Falcon build, scale to 1 to 72. Working on issues 4 to 7 here, and there's a, a bit more work in the copy, as well as uh, putting in the first lines. So let's jump into this and see how I get on. Now I'm beginning with issue 4, as you can see the parts there, it's mostly interstructure uh, for the hull. I'll also be using uh, parts from previous um, issues, so 1 to 3. But as you can see from the instructions here, it's mostly just working on the actual in interstructure. First of all, I'm connecting the, the bulkhead uh, to the cockpit. It just slots in at the back. There's a couple of little location points for it to do so. And I'm placing on the instrument panel. That just goes in the front. It's mostly just dry fitting at this point though. And now it's on to the main uh, interstructure. As you can see, there's uh, various uh, frames that I have to connect. So these are connected in the same way. There's uh, little flat brackets that um, interlink with them, uh, then screwed on to join them all up. And once it's made up, I can test fit uh, how this is going to go. So you can see it uh, getting superimposed or onto the back plate of the hull. And these get screwed on as well. So it's quite um, a weighty uh, model. Well, it will be a weighty model. And um, it's a good uh, st structure. It's very solid uh, once all these uh, little screws get put in. So this is just the connection screws that I'm putting in into the hull. I will be uh, later taking these out again. These are just to test fit to make sure everything fits. And now it's issue 5. So you can see the parts there. I'm starting on the uh, the walkway that leads to the cockpit. And I'm also going to be putting in the first uh, light. So the kit does actually come with its uh, own light. So I don't think I'll need to put any additional lights in. So th the lights will give you a rod of breadboard. It's already all pre-soldered and things. In fact, it's just a plug and play. That's what that little white box there is, uh, is for. So it's a, a, a simple setup, really. So any, really anyone can do this. As long as you know how to use a screwdriver, um, then you, you shouldn't have any difficulty whatsoever. So as you can see, these just pop on the back and it gets held in with one single screw. And the next to go on is the side panels. Again, uh, location points, uh, they just uh, press in. They were a bit tight, uh, to be honest with you. I took a little bit of jigging around to get them to fit. And then just another dry fit to make sure everything is in the proper position. And now it's on to issue number six. So on this issue, I'll be making up more of the cockpit. First of all, I'm just test painting the inside of this. Now this part you'll never see. Um, and the reason why I'm test painting is to see how well the paint lays down without any undercoat. Now, you may be wondering why I'm doing this. It's because the inside of the uh, glass part of the cockpit, uh, the little thing that you see there, um, I want this uh, painted a different colour to how it's already been pre-painted. So I'm looking for a more grey colour. And if I sprayed uh, some undercoat on it, even if I masked it all off, there was still undercoat go, we would go onto the outer surface. And also I didn't want that. So but that's why I painted. And I used XF19 Sky Grey for that. So as you can see, I'm putting on the transfers uh, here. And this is for the overhead uh, control panels. The thing to know here is the bottom section of the control panel um, has to be fitted on and the instructions say just use the transfer or the sticker just to hold them in place. I didn't like that idea at all so I, I cemented them in, in place. Um, just a little bit of um, normal cement, just enough to hold it so it wouldn't come apart. And the reason for that was they're not solid, I would probably need them to manoeuvre around when I put them in position. Next to go in our little levers into the instrument panel. These are the ones that you see Han Solo gripping uh, and moving around when he's flying the Falcon. The, there's four of these in tow. They were very tricky to put in, mostly because they were so small. And then once that was all done, it was time to dry fit the um, 
overhead control panel and it just slots in between the uh, main structure there quite well actually so I'll just hang around the camera you can see how it's going to look and now I'm moving on to issue 7 throughout this build you will see parts not getting used in the particular issue that's just how it comes um, so there's always going to be parts that I haven't put into one side because they're not actually for that stage of the build so first of all I'm going to be dark washing the seats and I'm using a Humpro dark wash for this now this is an enamel wash I've you never used any washes things like this there's a very thin ink or, or enamel paint and um, when you brush it on it just runs into any little gaps and uh, highlights the actual colour or the item that you're placing it on. And then going over to Tamiya's Withering Master Series C and the silver component and I'm just putting a little bit on my brush sharpener and then just putting it all over the instrument panels and raised edges to give it that metal look. And for the last uh, part of this uh, video, I'm um, going to start making up the interior par parts, particularly the area where the holographic table sits uh, on the uh, chairs. So first of all, I'm just making up this little hatch and it's uh, just a little bit of super glue before the um, inner part goes in. And same on the opposite side. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for the rest of my builds. I'm sure there's something in there for everyone. If you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell, you'll be updated with uh, all, all my builds, uh, including this one, of course. Hit that like button, and uh, of course, leave a comment. And don't forget to share the video as well. That, that helps me a little bit. So in the meantime, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.